And we are underway with Blint Main opening up in a 2-3 zone look. Lob over the top, and that's the way Rutgers starts it. Kiss the lob from Mathis. Yeah, Maine has had some struggles this year, no doubt. You mentioned six straight on the road, but a very competitive loss against Utah. White, shot clock to three, had to force it. But the rebound comes down to L. Darwich. Great feed across for the jam to Andrew Fleming. But he had superior semicircular canal dehiscence. That was the official medical term of what he dealt with. And as you mentioned, so scary. He Comes here next Saturday, January 5th, in what is already announced as a sellout crowd. Backdoor cut, White got the feed from Easy. El Marie, 69% among the team leaders. And he's the team's leading scorer. White on the three. He is Maine's leading scorer. Geo Baker. Montez Mathis off the skip pass. Beautifully delivering it inside to Omarui. And Fleming trying to back down Omarui. Out it goes to Larson for three. Phil got Larson. Moss able to cross the timeline. There's the drive from L. Darwich. The baseline opened up, and Johnson able to clear ferociously. Here comes Geo Baker. He has it stripped by Isaiah White. White will go in for the jam for RU. And Maine has remained in the zone the entire half. Baker in and out and back down again. These are some of the plays that can energize a team struggling with uh, some of the intensity from a visitor that Baker has been a cornerstone of this program since he showed up. It'll be that way in Big Ten play and just something you have to get used to, adjusting when you're one of the top two targets. Caleb McConnell showing he can be a Reliable one as a true freshman. Stay with it. Johnson splits the double team and jams it. Moss. Uh, Miles Johnson able to power through the zone. Yeah, look out below. Isaiah White and Andrew Fleming, seven points apiece to lead me. L. Darwich with a strong drive. He's got eight. Seton Hall, he had 16 points. That's his first made three today, just five points. See if he can get going in half number two. Fleming, a lefty hook over Omarui is pretty. Mathis out of the middle of the zone. Omarui out to Baker. Now planted in the corner. Time out on the floor. Yeah, that's a great look. Geo Baker made one from the top of the key and says, all right, I'll try one from the shooter's pocket as well. Rutgers had started one of ten from beyond the arc. Here's a three from Isaiah White. A defense by Baker along the baseline. Sergio L. Darwich able to get Dorson up in the air and then calmly hits the shot over the rim. Rutgers out of the Big Ten. He's going to be tough in the America East. Baker missing the three. Kiss able to follow it up. Then Mathis with a big step and a lefty jam. Half-court offense with Maine staying in the man-to-man. -man. Baker splitting it in to Omarui. Community College outside his hometown in Maryland. Had a good year last year. This has been his breakout. Omarui on the reverse. Now at nine. Sergio L. Darwich picked up three fouls in the first half. Off he goes. Backdoor fine to Fleming. She worked and came up through the NBA assistant coaching mentoring program. And she is a pioneer right now. There is Vilgot Larson off the glass for three. Couple of moments where it looked like the Scarlet Knights could run away with this one. Harper Jr. Lay off Harper. Off to Johnson for another thundering jam. Dunk with a solid defense to avoid the foul. But here is the slam from Johnson. So on the, the verge for his first career double-double. Entry to Omarui, back to the reverse layup again. And Omarui is a smooth operator. Pointers in this game, which I think was outside of the initial plan for the Scarlet Knights. But trying to get the ball inside like they did right there. The horn had blown just after he had, or just before he had released it. Otherwise, we would have been tied. Here is Teron Moss. This time he banks one in. That definitely will count. And McConnell came in just one of eight from three. He's three of seven in this game against Maine's zone for nearly the entire game. The Scarlet Knights able to pull away from the Maine Black Bears today, 70 to 55. They head into Saturday's showdown against Maryland on a two-game winning streak.